Hello, Overbound here. I'm going to show you guys the basic tools for drawing pixel art and manipulating color within Photoshop. Now normally when people start using Photoshop for um, drawing pixel art, they try to come over here to this menu, immediately see this brush tool, click the brush tool, oops, and start painting. And this might seem fine at first, but if you zoom in closely here, you can see that these pixels aren't solid uh, color. They have transparency to them, uh, especially around the edges. Uh, what's happening here is Photoshop has a fall off for the brush tool, where pixels furthest, furthest away from the center of the brush fall off towards uh, transparency and eventually uh, the pixels do become entirely transparent toward, at the edge of the brush. And that's not what we want at all. We want these really nice hard edges for pixel art. So usually their next step is they start to look at this menu at the top here, maybe open a couple things, look around and say, ah, oh, hardness. Maybe if I increase the hardness to 100%, that will fix my problem. So then they might paint some more, and yeah, it is harder, it looks it looks better. But if you zoom in very closely, you can see even at 100% hardest, there's still some fall off. The problem is you're using the wrong tool for pixel art. You need to be using the pencil tool. And the pencil tool is actually underneath the brush tool. If you click and hold down the brush tool, a little menu will pop up and the pencil tool will be right there. So if you go ahead and select that pencil tool and you start painting, I've got a selection, hang on. That's a, that's a good lesson right there. If you start painting and you don't see anything, you either have a selection on screen that you're not aware of, in which case you need to come up here to your marquee tool and unselect the board, or you don't have your layer selected. So go ahead with my layer selected and no uh, current selection, I can then paint anywhere on the board. So I'll start painting with the pencil tool, and that looks harder. And if I zoom in, you can see that it's creating precise, hard edges. From there, I can decrease the size with my brackets on my keyboard, or up here in the menu. You can see right now it's set to a size of 1 all the way up to 5,000. Um, let's go ahead and set that to one and do a little painting so you can see what that looks like. It's just one pixel like you'd expect. Exactly what you want. So the thing to take away is that the pencil tool is the tool to use for drawing pixels in Photoshop. Um, next thing you might want to do is change your color. There's a couple ways to do this. Your current colors are active over here in the menu or active over here on the right. If you double click one, you can change it. The You will always draw with the front color, but this back one's here as an alternative color. Um, you might want a m easier way to change color than double clicking over here. You might want a quicker way. Well, there's actually a panel that Photoshop comes with that, that's called the color panel, and you can select it up here in the menu, or in this Windows menu. It's right here, color. And it might appear somewhere else on your screen, um, and, in and it will probably appear with these RGB sliders right here. I prefer hue, saturation, and brightness sliders, so I just come over to this little drop down menu and click hue, saturation. Because then I can just select a hue, select how much saturation I want, and select how much how bright I want it, which to me is a little more intuitive than trying to mix RGB to get a color that you want. Okay, so there's your color panel. When you're changing your colors, you need to make sure you have the, the color selected up here. So if I go ahead and I click this back color here and I start adjusting, uh, you can see it's adjusting the back color. I'm still drawing with the front color, but I'm adjusting the back color need to go ahead and select the front color to change it. So that's pretty much your the basic color options in Photoshop or the way you select color.
the next tool we want to cover is the erase tool and the erase tool is right here it's just a block um, on the menu and um, it comes by default at this uh, brush setting up here in mode and if you zoom in closely and you start erasing you, you will see that the edges aren't hard just like the brush in fact if you open up this little menu you can see it has a hardness option just like the brush well we don't want uh, soft pixels we don't want any transparency fall off what we want is something similar to the pencil tool where it leaves hard lines behind and if you look under this mode menu up here there's a little pencil option and that works just as you'd expect it erases with uh, in a similar fashion to the way the pencil draws it leaves hard edges behind get rid of all those nasty transparencies goodbye there's also a block up here this one's just like a, this one's a little bit strange I tend to use the um, the, the brush and the, the pencil the most the pencil for pixel art of course you can adjust its size with the brackets, as you can do with the, um, the the pencil. If I did not mention that, you can select the size of it with the with the brackets on the keyboard, or you can come up here to the menu. Works the same way for the pencil, the brush, and the erase tool, but you'll just be focusing on the pencil and the erase tool for pixel art. The last thing I want to show you is the paint bucket tool and normally right off the bat you can't see the paint bucket tool on the left menu here it's a lot of times covered up by this gradient tool but much like with the brush tool if you hold down the gradient tool you will see a paint bucket tool underneath and it works very similar to what you'd expect from a paint bucket tool in any sort of paint program um, you can select an area and change its color it has some extra features though as well. Um, first of which is anti-aliasing. This will probably be on by default. You'll want it off and I'll show you why. If I come in here with anti-aliasing on and I paint, you can see it just added a color between the color I was painting. Sorry, let me let me get a different color up here so it, it's more uh, the change is more visible. If I paint with the anti-aliasing tool on, you can see that I get this intermediate color between them, between the, the color I was painting over and the colors that are next to it. And I don't want that. So if you just leave anti-aliasing off, you won't have that problem. It'll leave a hard edge, just as the pencil tool does. <clears throat> There's another option um, that might cause you some confusion and that's this tolerance tool um, with a tolerance level of zero it will only color one and only one color if I click this middle color here it only paints that if I click this color here it only paints that but if I turn this up to say 128 and I paint you can see it painted two colors if I then set that down to or set it even higher let's try 255 which is its max setting it changed all three colors uh, so generally speaking for pixel art you want to leave that at zero now there's one more setting we need to talk about for this uh, paint bucket tool it's this continu contiguous button up here and what contiguous does is it says with it checked I'm only going to paint the color that is touching itself <laughs> um, if I have another square with the same color off in a different place on the board and I paint a different color over it oops I've got another selection so I'm gonna go ahead and um, select my marquee tool and just click off off the, the board go back to the, the paint bucket now anyway 
if I then paint this here, you can see that this color down here was not changed, even though it's the exact same color that was up here. However, with contiguous off, it will change both. It will change any color that's on this layer um, that is exactly the same color, regardless of whether or not it's touching. This is really handy if you're trying to change the color of something. So if I come in here and let's say I want to change this uh, this building to orange, um, I want it, but but it's got there's another building over here that's exactly the same building, and I might want to change it both at the same time. So let's go ahead and like change this to maybe a, a blue. Hmm. Start with this color, and with contiguous off. If I click this red line here, you can see that the identical red line over here also change. With contiguous on, you know that's not the case. Let's go ahead and turn it off and finish painting this guy. So there's our lightest color. We'll come over here to our menu, decrease the brightness a little, paint again. You can see that every pixel that was red, that shade of red, is now blue and we can do it one more time and now we've got the blue the building the the red for these back buildings was the same as the darkest red on that so that's why that changed it was all the same color um, but say say you might not actually want that to change well there is actually the, the 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 paint bucket tool can be used in congruence with um, the the marquee tool so if I go ahead and I select half this square with uh, make a selection of half this square and I then try to paint this square with my paintbrush you can see that I only paint the in the the part of the square or the rectangle that's inside of this selection if I, with that off it, it or with the selection off it would paint the whole square in fact it would paint up here too because contiguous is off. That so so whatever is inside a selection is the only thing that can be painted. In fact, if I go ahead and I select this entire circle or entire rectangle, I'm not very good with my shapes apparently. Um, and I paint over this color up here you can see because contiguous was off it still painted everything that was that color but it only painted what was inside the triangle or the the selection that actually looks more like a square um, with contiguous on if I paint up here nothing happens because contiguous has the same effect regardless of whether or not you're you're inside the selection or not uh, I can still paint that way too that goes for a lot of tools in Photoshop. They can be used in conjunction with one another. So keep that in mind. Um, for instance, if I select half this and I paint with my pencil, I can't paint outside of the selection. So selection tools can be very useful and I will cover them in more detail in a later video. But for now, I just wanted to show you how all the paint bucket tool works the pencil tool works, why not to use the pen tool, uh, the eraser, and um, you should be all set to start making uh, pixel art in Photoshop. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you appreciated the video. Overbound out.